Chapter 3 The Captain and Me I woke early the next morning and slinked into the kitchen. We had my favorite cereal in the cupboard. I wanted to eat some before my butters beat me to it. My sister Hillary was already finishing her breakfast of toast and juice. My mom sat reading the newspaper. My father stared out the kitchen window, gripping a cup of coffee as if his life depended on it. Morning, Jigsaw, my mother said. My father nodded, and Hillary, who was 13 years old, went right on talking. She went on and on about play rehearsals. Hillary was always in one show or another. She dreamed of becoming an actress. Hillary hoped to star in a reality television series. One day, like my older brothers Daniel, Nick, and Billy always said, if it is involved, Hillary getting stranded on a desert island. They were all for it. Hillary likes to talk. Hillary is also a teenager, so her favorite subject is... Hillary! I tried very, very hard to ignore her. After all, that's what brothers are for. It was my lucky morning. There was still some Cap'n Crunch in the cereal box. My parents don't usually let us eat surgery cereals. They would be happiest if we ate cereal that tasted like a shoebox. But sometimes if we beg hard enough, they will break down and buy the sweet stuff. Get it while you can, my dad says. That stuff will rot your teeth until they drop out of your mouth and fall to the floor like chiclets. Then he says, pass me the box. I think I'll have a bowl. My mom sighs, rolls her eyes, frowns, groans, moans, pulls her hair. You know the usual mom stuff. She complains that I like Captain Crunch because it's a box full of sugar-soaked cavity bombs. Okay, fine. I can't argue with that. Cavity bombs are tasty, so sue me. But here's the thing I like the sound they make. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It's like having my own private earthquake inside my mouth. I spoon in a mouthful. Then I plug my ears with my fingers, and I chew as fast as loudly as I can. All I can hear is the crunch, crunch, crunch. For a few happy moments, it's just the captain and me. Sugar bombs in my mouth, exploding in my ears. Everything else falls away. No school, no worries, no ghosts. It's especially nice when my sister is talking, which, like I said, is pretty much always. I could see her lips move, but no words reach my ears. It's like hitting a mute button on the TV clicker. Just the way I like Hillary. All pictures, no sound.